The blog today is again from Tabcorp Park Menangle, the successful Miracle Mile Carnival, and what can we say, David? Just success all round. Yeah, absolutely. Look, I think the whole carnival was a success. Started with the chariots, um, went into the Ladyship Mile and that ladies' night, which was a great night, exceeded expectations. And what do you say, what a great race again, the Miracle Mile. Yeah, the Miracle Mile, king of swing. Um, he, he always looked like um, the, being the horse, the way he was so dominant in the Hunter Cup, but he, he's um, on a path now to a very unique um, trifecta. If he can come back here to Tabcourt Park, Menangle in December, and win the Inter Dominion. That's uh, three of the greatest races that we have on the harness racing yeah. carnival in in the year. So. Well, the owners will be certainly looking for that with Craig Cross and Luke McCarthy. Um, anything can happen. But talking about owners, uh, Emilio and Mary Rosati, um, the Quinella and the Derby. Yeah, fantastic. Um, you certainly knew who the winner was with, with Emilio mm -hmm. cheering. Um, he said at the presentation he got first and third in the Victoria Derby. He wanted to go one better, and he got first and second in the New South Wales Derby. Uh, great effort. Like, the, the guy, Emilio just puts so much his heart and soul and his wallet into the industry. Um, what a great result for him. Great result for Anthony Butt. Like, he's just branched out to being a trainer now. We've always known what a great driver he is, but he's starting to show his wares as a good trainer as well. Yeah, well, he, he's always pulled the right rein in the races. Well, when the training ranks, he certainly pulled the right rein here because Emilio and Mary, they have um, such a... a depth of horses available for and Emilio will buy horses and talking about buying horses of course he was at the APG sale the next day but the Miracle Mile night itself had a lot more it's something that you've heard about something you've seen but the performance of um, Club Menangle director Michael Brown in proposing to his girl Pat, Pat Ware, was something that caught the crowds by surprise and certainly caught their attention. Caught a lot of the staff by surprise as well. Um, they kept it a secret. Um, him and Bruce Christensen, CEO, it was something they were working on. It wasn't that easy to do too because there was a lot of behind the scenes with the, the screen and the music, which um, Alan Boxall, uh, Johnny Harbour had a lot to do with um, to coordinate that in between races and things had to go right and we had to have good weather and yeah it caught a lot of people by surprise but you couldn't wipe the smile off Brownie's face could you? Oh certainly not and um, he made quite a few promises after not only to Pat <laughs> other people after that event. He was in a good mood. He was in a great mood um, another little thing that happened um, that not everybody would be aware of um, a young Clancy Jenner um, um, he's 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 in uh, Westmead Children's Hospital at the moment uh, receiving uh, treatment. Um, Katie, of course, um, Ned Pepper, we all know them and their performances on the track. But um, they're on on. Saturday night, uh, Michael Prentice, head of uh, our integrity department, presented uh, Clancy with his uh, accreditation to enter the stables. He's eight years old. You, you could hardly wipe the um, the excitement off um, Clancy's. Uh, face in that lot and then then Michael took him through the uh, training center um, I mean the retention uh, barn and and let him have a look at all the horses and and he said now Michael said to Clancy pick one out he picked Lock and Var Art out so he went close to getting it and Lock and Var Art owned by Kevin Gordon from Gosford bought at the ready to run sale um, which is now not in operation but I'm sure the owners association will get behind that again but it was just a, a, a feel good uh, night Isn't it? Mile and, and it's a family like we always get told it you know it's a family industry and, and these initiatives brought in by Harness Racing New South Wales that you, these kids you know we always cop criticism that we don't look after families enough but there are these accreditations where the young kids can go and get accreditation be amongst the horses because they're amongst their family um, so it is a family sport and we, we do recognise that as an industry and you do you see the joy on the kids faces to be a part of it and Miracle Mile night just all the glitz and the glamour and the lights um, I, as a kid it was just yeah it was the be all end all wasn't it and of course we had the two um, mini trot races the two three. mini Miracle Mile three, three were yeah, there three had the midgets minis and ponies oh excellent and and they went off without a hitch as well but from the Miracle Mile we went to the APG sale uh, we started there really on the Friday night uh, great uh, Great presentation by Flora Robson, Mari Neal with, with the Ealing Parade, but by golly, uh, New South Wales is on top. Um, the sales results were outstanding. Yeah, so I've heard the same thing, and it was a lot of positive 
feedback. Sometimes you might get a little bit of negative from certain you know, points of the parts of the industry, but it was all positive about the industry on the way up. Um, some of the initiatives that this club and Harness Racing New South Wales are taking part of, the cash incentives, mm. look, indicators are saying that they've been successful and, and accepted by the industry because, from my understanding, the averages are up. I think there was five horses, 100 plus, mm. uh, at the sale. They were so well presented. Um, everyone that's here today is just talking about how good the sale day was. Yeah, well, it ticked over $5 million in, in total sales. Um, the, Wayne Loader purchased the uh, the highest price lot at a hundred and a better's delight at one hundred and fifty thousand dollars from um, Scott and Kathy uh, Robertson uh, from down the Riverina. Yep. Um, my brother Bruce, um, would you believe it? He sold uh, a trotter, Majestic Sun trotter, for sixty five thousand dollars. Like that's just not heard of in New South Wales, and it shows the confidence of the industry. Matty Day. Now we we all know the the trials that Matt Day went through after he had that uh, horrendous quad bike uh, accident but he was back at the sales he was the highest vendor five hundred thousand dollars worth of uh, yearlings he presented sold everyone I, I spoke to Matty he said well I, I breed them to sell them and they'll be up and down but um, it was a great great day a great feeling all over so uh, good luck to all those people that purchased a yearling on on Sunday and uh, as uh, David has said there um, there's twenty five thousand dollars for the Colts and twenty five thousand dollars from the Phillies from Clubman Angle, yep. if they they race here in the finals Absolutely. next year, is that and it's probably a reflection too that isn't it, mate? The rain, like every oh, yeah. everyone's doing a little bit better in the country. Like there's the rain, things are green. It was just a buoyant mood. Well, it gave it an up, uplift. Certainly, the rain gave it an uplift. But what what, what we also had is is. Um, Anthony McDonald came out last year. Maybe he came out um, a bit too close to the sale, but he's got people thinking about fractional ownership, and wasn't it good to see one of the horses from last year, Girl from Oz, win uh, the pink bonnet? Um, and we talk about Michael Brown. He's he's still wearing the pink bonnet, or, or at least uh, young Alex is wearing the pink bo bonnet. But, but you know, um, Darren McCall, he, he's, you know, he's right behind these things. She's a filly. She's a filly that certainly will go to the Gold Crown, and uh, the nominations for the Gold Crown they uh, they close or the fields will be out this Friday. Yeah, um, great thing, girl from Oz, um, out of a mare called Girls Go Racing, which this mm -hmm. club purchased from the APG that was fortunate enough to win a couple of races. Uh, Gwenda Murphy and John Pritchard purchased her at the end of her racing mm -hmm. career. Um, we've always stayed in close contact, uh, myself and Gwenda. She always sends uh, mm -hmm. she was always sending photos of girl go. Uh, of girl from Oz when she was just a baby before she had a racing name mm. um, of when she was born when she was a yearling the progress when she was being broken in and it's just a good story all around I think yeah well the stable was very active there at the um, at the yearling sales again and and with Darren yeah, see that Darren, yeah. Darren was um, Darren McCall was there they had other other like Ro Robbie and Kerry Ann uh, Morris have horses with the stable as well Daniel Cordina is one of the drivers behind it as well so um, I'm sure they'll have some um, shares out there so if people looking for shares um, certainly contact uh, Daniel but back to the gold crown it, it starts next Wednesday and it, it goes through until uh, the, I think it's the 28th That's right. of, so of, of March, the Saturday night. But in between there is the yearling sales at Bathurst. And, and for those people who missed out on a horse at uh, the APG sales, they certainly can go to Bathurst. I think it's a Sunday the 22nd. Uh, no racing in New South Wales on that date, as there wasn't last Sunday. So uh, we give uh, vendors opportunities to sell. We give them opportunities to go because we don't distract them with another race. It's always meeting. been a good sale and just grown over the years too, isn't it? the Bathurst sale. Great thing and a lot, a lot of winners come out of that sale, especially in the bush. Yeah, yeah really in the bush. Uh, but then of course there's a couple other things that happened during the during the carnival or during the week and one thing I'm very proud to say is that Adam Fairley was recognised by Harness Racing Australia and received a meritorious award. Adam's been in the industry, working in the in industry for 27 years until he's just given it away and gone to play soccer. Well, that's um, that's what he wanted to I don't do. Know if he's playing or he might be administrating. His playing days might be behind him, but I'm pretty sure he'd be keen to get out there anyway. Oh, I'm sure he will, as long as he doesn't apply for a licence <laughs> in harness racing. <laughs> However, um, this weekend, 
It is Black Friday, but we have two wonderful Carnival Cups meetings, uh, Young and, and Broken Hill. That's only unlucky to some, it's not unlucky to the winners, is it? Uh, Young's a great club, I've been down to Young a few times. Um, the town really get behind it, they do a good job down there. Um, it's back to the, the smaller track racing there, mm. so um, barrier draws do play an important part down at Young. Um, but it's great prize money, I think the Oaks and the Derby there, $20,000 races, the Young Cup itself, 30, they've got horses in it that competed in the free-for-alls here in the, in the sprint race. Races. I think Conviction, Atomic Red, those horses are going around. And the good horse, our Uncle Sam. Our Uncle Sam, well, what a great story that was yeah, here. Well, well, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a purchase from the Bathurst Yearling Sale, so I understand. So you, you can buy the horses to win you these races. Uh, you just have to go out there and put your hand up and do it. Oh, wouldn't you like to be able to bet and running? Once he got to the top <laughs> going 29 quarters, it was just, oh, geez, I wish I could have a bet with da half to go. David, I'm not allowed to bet. Oh, no, neither do I. No, neither do I. I'm just saying if I wasn't. But you can bet in running if, um, if, with some of the corporate operators. Um, you, you talked about the little tracks, so you were referring to Broken Hill. Well, it's littler than young. 600 metres round. Um, uh, what have we got? We've got six races there on, on Friday, but um, it, it's always a wonderful meeting. Uh, when you talk about crowd participa participation, they're right on top of the horses. And then Sunday, we, we go off to Armadale for the end of the weekend. So uh, the Tab Corp Carnival Cups, it's, it's in full swing again. Um, and then, of course, we roll straight into the Bathurst Gold Crown Carnival. Yeah, great carnival, great prize money at all these Carnival Cups races too. Um, the country people should be really proud of what they've been able to achieve and harness race in New South Wales. Anything else? before we close David no no um no, I'm pretty happy with that, John. Yeah, that's good. All right, then. Until next week, when I um, may have David here as my co-host, or I may not. It depends on how many hits we get on this uh, CEO's blog this week, and we watch them very carefully. So if you like it, contact David and say, come back, <laughs> David. Thank you. Thanks.